Hi folks, this is the first message of uh, 2023, and I'm going to call it Loving Jesus. How do you know you love Jesus? Most of us say, I love you, I love Jesus, I love you Lord, but how do we know we love Him? I was thinking about the early Christians the other day when the Lord started dropping this in my heart, uh, how they were fed to the lions. Nero, he set them on fire and set them up in his garden just to light his garden at night. And I've read Fox Book of Martyrs, maybe you've read that book before, where the early Christians, how they sang unto the Lord as they had been burned at the stake. They sang praises to God. And they were willing to do that. They were willing to go to that extreme, if you can think of it that way, in their profession of faith. Jesus Christ is Lord. He died on a cross, was buried, and rose again on the third day, and I bow to Him and no one else. I think their love for Jesus went beyond to a different level of love than just, I love you. Do we love Jesus in the way we talk? Do we love Jesus if we take His name in vain? Do we love Jesus if we sit around and listen to filthy jokes at work and laugh with the, with the crowd? Do we love Jesus when we drive by the guy that's broke down the highway and trying to get his car fixed? Ah, I gotta get to the McDonald's, <laughs> whatever. Sometimes we can't, I understand that. But I was just thinking about a deeper level of love for him. What's it mean to me personally? What's it mean to you personally? He said, if you love me, keep my commandments, which we'll read that scripture in a minute. He says, the two greatest commandments is to love the Lord thy God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. And the second is like unto it, he said, to love thy neighbor as thyself. And your neighbor can be anybody, anywhere. So it basically means to love God, to love people. So, our expression of love for Jesus, I believe it's going to be played out in our lives as a Christian. The way I walk, where I go, how I act in public, how I treat my family, how I treat people, my neighbors, the guy that, at the grocery store that you're impatient with. Loving Jesus goes, has to go beyond, I love you, Lord. I'd like to read a scripture out of uh, John, the 14th chapter, which I, I quoted one of them already. He said in verse 15, If you love me, keep my commandments. And then in verse 21, he says, He that has my commandments and keeps them, he it is that loves me. And he that loves me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Verse 23 says, And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man loves me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. So if we're keeping his commandments, doing what his word says, he will manifest himself to us and make his abode with us. And I've been thinking about that. The only thing I can really think of is that it's just a, a, a more, maybe a closer walk with him. He makes, till, if you, someone makes their abode with you, that means they live with you. He will manifest himself to you. You want to know Jesus a little close, get, be a little closer to the Lord? Keep his commandments. That probably just automatically happens. He's there and he, he's with you. Uh, I need him every day of my life. I need him every minute of my life. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. So, keep, you know, do, loving Jesus is doing his commandments and doing what it says to love other people, to love God. And sometimes you have to love God well, here's what I was thinking the other day about this, is that there's people like Muslims, Hindus, uh, people of different religions in different parts of the world, Judaism, uh, and I've heard reports, and probably you have too, where people have come to Christ, they have turned away from their religion, whatever it was, and they've embraced the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, and their family has shunned them. And one, I heard one guy talking on the TV one day, how his parents said he was dead because he turned away from Judaism and embraced Jesus Christ as the Messiah. You're dead to me. Are we willing to do that? Do I love him that much? 
Do I love it? He said, if you love your mother, your brother, your father, your sister, family, more than me, you're not worthy of me. So sometimes to be a Christian and really to love the Lord in a deeper level, we may have to make decisions in our lives where maybe family will turn from us. Loved ones. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> he's got Jesus. He's religious. <laughs> he's a Jesus freak. Well, if that's where the Lord has brought me to, I mean, if God tells me to go out on the corner and hold up a sign, Ben's near. <laughs> do I love him? Am I willing to do it? I hope I have that type of commitment. To love Jesus is more than just saying words. It's keeping His commandments. What does His commandment say? We're living in a hard time right now. Uh, people in the world's going nuts, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you know what? I mean, they don't know their gender. They're teaching all kinds of weird things. Who do you think this comes from? You know where it comes from. Loving Jesus means I stand for what God's Word says about that subject, regardless of what comes out of the White House, regardless of what comes out of the Hollywood. This is what I believe. This is my core values about marriage, about gender, about what to wear and not to wear. That doesn't mean we go around and take the Word of God. Just because I believe this is God's Word and I believe that this is the right way doesn't mean I have the, the right to take the Word of God and beat people up with it. Maybe I'd say a homosexual person or someone that cross-dresses, what I call I'm not sure what they call it now. I can't take God's Word and beat them up. Thou shalt saith this in the Word, thou shalt not. That's not love. But I know there's Christians who do that. But I think it's because they, have, they don't have an understanding. You can't win no one to Jesus Christ by beating them up with the Word of God. You show Christ's love. Love draws people. They want something that you have. They're trying to fill a void in their lives. They're empty. And we got the bread of life. Hallelujah. <laughs> we can offer them Jesus Christ. They'll drink of that living water and they thirst no more. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So we, as Christians, have to make a stand, all of us, at one point in time. I've had to do it a couple times since I've been a Christian to my family. A couple times I've had to do it with old friends I ran with. They're no longer old friends. Can't not, we can't, you and I cannot let nothing come between the Lord and ourselves. If it's my wife, if it's my daughter, if it's my son, if it's my mother, if it's my brother, if it's my father... No, i, I got to go with Jesus. Because see, that's eternal. Jesus is eternal. We are His family. Born again children of God. We are His family. It doesn't matter where we're from. We could be from Africa, South America, Mexico. We could be from Guam. It doesn't matter. Japan. It doesn't matter where people are from. If they're born again, they are a child of God. And we're part of God's family. But the earthly family is temporary. In other words, they don't get saved. It's just temporary. Though I love my mom. Jesus loved his mother. I'm not saying, we love our family. And we, we, you know, I believe in sacrifice. And sometimes love is sacrificial, isn't it? Loving Jesus sometimes can be sacrificial. God tells you to do something. And it's a great sacrifice. So then, I love you, Lord. <laughs> Uh, I know, I, yeah, but I want you to do this. Yeah, but Lord, I love you, Lord. Now, I was thinking about what Jesus said of the religious leaders of his day. <laughs> he said, these people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrine, the commandments of man. There's a lot of churches that are having splits in them right now, Methodist Church and others, because of the subject of homosexuality and woke ide ideology. And there's people that are leaving those churches. That's because they believe the Word of God. They stand on the Word. So sometime in your life as Christian, you may have to make a deeper commitment to the Lord, a deeper level and most of the time, that deeper level will be sacrificial some way. And also it says in 1 Peter, I might have said this already, that, that uh, His love is being perfected in us. I believe over a period of time, 
walking with the Lord, we begin to grow. That love begins to grow. Or another way of looking at it is it begins to get, get a little deeper. I think that's how it works. I know I was thinking this the other day too. When my, little, my daughter was a baby laying in the, in the crib or in the playpen, me staring down at her like that, get you, get you goo. She's going, look about at me. And finally, when she started talking, she might have said, Dad, Dad, I love you, Dad, Dad. But over time, that I love you, Dad, Dad, I love you, Father. She has grown in that love. And I'd like to think that it works that way as Christians, y'all. We, we start out with Dad, Dad, we grow as my Father. And I was thinking, well, I'll close with this. Jesus, before he was crucified, we know this scripture, he went into the garden and knew what he had to go through. Beyond, we, we have no realization really what he went through. But he knew what lay ahead. It said when he, he was crying out to God, he was sweating great drops of blood. That's intense agony. He said, Father, if there be another way, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. He says, Nevertheless, not my will be done, but thine will be done. He loved God that much. I'm willing to go to the cross and take all the sins of this whole world upon myself and pour out my blood for the remission of their sins that they might be saved. Jesus died for his family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' holy name. So I think with that... I think I'm done. Thanks for watching. God bless. Thank you, Lord Jesus.